Alright, so now our next project that we're going to work on is a robot. So what we're going to make is just a little robot figurine. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can free sketch this if you feel creative. Um, or, what I like to do is I am going to insert a picture and draw from a picture. Now, what I'm going to do at first is I'm going to draw my limitations for my picture. So, now, I'm going to need a rectangle, so I want it to be upright, so we know it's it's going to be 5 centimetres, which is 50 mil, right, and 70 mil wide. So push enter. Cool. So that's our limitations on how big our robot can be. Now, we want to insert picture. So what I've done is I've gone to Google search, I've downloaded a picture of a robot, All right, and I've saved that. Now, so I go insert, I attach canvas. So it's selected that base. Alright, and go select images. Define your images. Alright, robot picture. Open. Now you can adjust it with these settings, but it should just be basically to your maximum canvas with your 70 by 50. Alright, so you push OK, so my robot's not gonna quite be 70 mil high, because it's a bit wider than that. Alright, now, basically what you want to do is to just um, draw around your robot. So, using the different tools that are in here, you just slowly draw it around. So, you might start with the bulk stuff. So, maybe do the squares first. Alright, now that we don't have any more square stuff to go, now we can just go to our line tool. A circle here, we might be able to do that with a circle, a centre circle or a two point circle. Might be better to do it with a two point circle. Alright, now we zoom in, we see that that point's not connected. So we might just connect that to there. Cool. So that, that point is connected. Alright. Now what we can do is uh, you can use our trim tools to push T, get rid of these lines. These arms here. So we can probably do circle there again. So it just takes a bit of time to follow tracing an image. If you hold down your pointer as you are driving, so if you continue, so as you click, if you hold it down, you can actually draw an arc that We pull back our trim tool, trim all these lines away. So what I might do is I might create it as a circle. I find that point where it connects it there. Place that down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the circle, click on this circle here, Control C, Control V. I'm just going to place.
what you could do as well, as I, what I'll do is I'll go back. Now we've got these four already here. We can just go, uh, let's go select. Let's select all of these. Control C, Control V them all. Let's move them all there. Help oh, on that. That side now. Now for this little curvature thing here. So let's do our line up here, up here, here, that tool. So click here, click here. And click done. What you can do is the exit of that. You can move this up around here. So that basically that's a bit better of what we actually wanted. Alright. Yeah. Now we want to get rid of all these little lines here. We gotta do this other shoe here. This other leg, not shoe. In sketch, we have a mirror. So, what we need to do first is we need to create a line that is right between here and here. So, it should be along here somewhere. So, that's a line. Now that we have a line there, we can go sketch mirror. Alright, now what we can do is select all these points here, I think if we mirror this line here, click that, that will drag all of those lines over to that side, we'll push OK, and that's all conjoined there. Alright, so now we just need to trim this little line here, uh, trim. This line here, cool. Alright, now we have drawn the whole way around our robot. Our robot needs to sit in a, a slit. Um, so we need to draw our little rectangle down here. So, just using our little rectangle tool. Right. What, sometimes what you can do is to find certain points. Right, you can just draw some lines and then it'll find certain points between points. So basically they're sort of your geometric lines. So then you can work off them. Right now we want to so that where it comes to the triangle that means that's the center point. Now our rectangle down here has to be 300 wide by uh, not 330, it's 5 mil by 30. So the line that we want to go down is going to be 22.5. All right, now that dot there is our center line for our rectangle which is going to be here. Now, by doing this rectangle, right, I know that it's going to be 5 mil and the tab oh, so what that is, that's going to be our feet that's going to slide into our little stand so that it stands up. Right, now we want to create Extrude, we just want to extrude this guy and that. Right, and we only want to extrude him by 5 mil. Uh, so, the reason why it's only, it won't extrude anymore is because I have this 5 degree angle on here, so I need to change that to 0. Alright, now we can extrude that up to 5. Now I can push OK. 
Alright, now we have a little 3D robot. Now it's a little bit boring because it doesn't have a face. So what we might do is I might give it a face. So I'm going to sketch on there. Alright, now I'm gonna give it some eyes. Alright, so I might go circle, two point circle, one gonna give it some eyes. And I'm also going to cut a hole out for the TV here. I don't want it to be like a sharp point like that. So I can put a fillet on it. Alright. Which then just brings those points in. So then it's, it's curved. Now using this arrow, I can pull that out, make it harder. So I might just want it slightly curved. So now we extrude, select these pieces that we want. So we can use the arrow again, and we can go 5mm. It'll take us the whole way through. Extrude cut. There is our little robot. So that will be printed off um, and slit into our stand and we'll be using that with our little robots um, in our arena so once again don't forget to save your work the robot